Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a love reading for my lovely Leos. This can be for sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it. Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Open minds, open hearts. We clear out all negativity. All right. So um, I want to let you guys know that this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find this is meant for you. Um, also, time is fluid, so this could be happening right now. It could have happened in the past or will be happening in the near future. Also, this is a general message, so feel free to flip-flop the energy, how it resonates for you in this, um, I want to say in this time period or how it resonates for you at this time, I should say, all right? That means something to somebody, okay? Um, you could be connecting with somebody that you feel like is a past life lover for some reason okay i don't know that's a very odd um message intuitively okay um, we don't have any cars out yet either so let's go ahead and get a card leo for your current energy right now or just whatever energy that you're in right now all right um oh beautiful two of cups all right hmm so love is definitely on your mind right now, right? You're looking for a very balanced love, all right? Um, your love life in the past could have been very um harmo unharmonious. That's the word I'm hearing, all right? Unharmonious, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, so you're looking for something that's a little bit more balanced, all right? Um, equal give and take. It's not Six of Pentacles, but I get a very like heavy Six of Pentacles energy from that card, Leo, all right? Beautiful energy. All right. Um, you definitely want to merge with somebody. All right. You kind of want to be. Um, the lane is like three three D. Like term I can use for it is like in union, but it's like it's like I don't know. It's like two souls merging together. I know that's very deep, but. That's what comes to mind when I think of that card for you in particular. And I don't usually think of that for Two of Cups, okay? But beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and get a card for your person or whoever you're thinking of or who's coming um, into your energy soon. One card, please. Just one card. Okay, I got more than one. Um, I got the Knight of Pentacles. And I got the magician number one, all right. Um, that could be a uh, Gemini or Virgo, depending on what reader he is, all right. But um, I'm going to take, I usually just say Gemini, but for some reason I feel called to take Virgo and Gemini, all right. So um, you could be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo, um, or you could have that somewhere in your chart. The Nine of Pentacles on the table too, so you could definitely be dealing with the uh, Earth sign. Um, so that would be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, all right? Or have that heavy in your chart, or they have it heavy in their chart, all right? Whoever this person is, um, they're definitely manifesting you, all right? You could find them slightly manipulative or very manipulative, I should say, all right? Um, they're taking their time, though. Um, you could feel like that they're very secretive as well, too, all right? And they could be, all right? It could just be... The way that they communicate, um, sometimes that can be positive, sometimes that can be negative, all right? Um, because the magician is definitely about um, working with their elements to get whatever you desire uh, within this 3D or to bring whatever is in the 5D down to the 3D, all right? So um, they're definitely a master at that, but I, I feel intuitively that sometimes you see that as a negative thing um, and that the pace that they go at is too slow, all right? Um, they could be wanting to manifest or focusing more on finances as well, too, with the pinnacle energy, all right? But I feel like that they're definitely trying to manifest you, but you could be looking at it, at it as manipulation, and you're looking for more true love, all right? They may not be as expressive or um, emotional as you would hope they would be, Leo, all right? Let's get mutual energy for more clarification. Um, one card for mutual energy, please. Ooh, I lost a lot. Okay, give me one second, y'all. All right. Oh, should I take all these? This is a lot. I'm going to go over them really fast, but I'm going to put them back in the deck. So we have a five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Two of pentacles need to make a decision. Um, strength number eight, which is your card, Leo. 
um, Knight of Swords, all right, somebody rushing in, um, making a hasty decision. Uh, number 14, the Temperance card, all right, Sagittarius Energy for the Major Arcana. All right, what is just one collective message for all four or five of these cards? Okay. They, the phrase I'm hearing is, you guys both don't feel like it's the right time. That's the mutual energy, all right? I don't know if you are aware of that, um, or maybe that's a conclusion that you'll come to within the near future, um, Leo, um, or you or your person. But just from these cards that I just read out, the timing is off, all right? So you guys don't want to rush things or make like a very hasty or blind decision. So you guys want to take your time, all right? That could have been something that you guys both struggle with or still currently struggle with is a lack of patience, all right? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or have that in your chart, um, or they could, or it could just be the energy, all right? The energy, all right? So you guys are trying to shift from a very like passionate, action-oriented fire energy um, into a more like grounded, earthly energy, all right? And that's probably why we're picking up a lot on the pinnacle energy, all right? Um, it's a very hard conclusion for you guys to come to, and it could be a transition. So I feel like you guys start off uh, with being left out in the cold, um, needing to make a decision, wanting to uh, keep things strong or keep things going within the connection and individually in you guys' life, wanting to rush forward, but then wanting to find patience. All right. So you guys could be in contemplation for that right now all right or that's something that's going to be happening in the near future i feel strongly all right i'm gonna pull just one card i'm gonna actually keep those out because i feel like that it was a very clear and direct concise message all right just one card please one card one card please all right, Six of Cups, yes, past life love. That is the um, intuitive message that we open up with, all right? Um, so mutually, you guys could be needing to work on your inner child or you guys could be doing that right now. If you're unaware of what that is, because I know that I mentioned that a lot of videos and I feel like somebody is asking that for some reason right now. Um, Google um, how to heal your inner child. There's a lot of articles and meditation and stuff on that, all right? Um, so you could feel very like... Um, I don't know if you would describe it as, as volatile, if that's the word I'm looking for, volatile. I think that's how you say it. That's just what comes to mind. Um, but you could be like very angry or like be like very aggressive right now, all right? Um, and you could be feeling that way because of the inner child, all right? That's what I'm trying to get to. Um, you could have known this person from your childhood, all right? Or it could be a thing where you've known them from a previous lifetime, if you believe in that, Lee, all right? Um, let's go ahead and pull a card for your challenge. Just one card, please. Okay, I'm getting so many multiple cards. Um, for your challenge, you have the Ace of Swords, all right? So overthinking. Also, um, you need to be open to enlightenment. All right. Um, or something is trying to be illuminated to you or will be in the future. And either there's a block in that um, and you're not open to receiving it um, or it hasn't happened yet. All right. And that or there's an epiphany that you're going to have. All right. And I think that's what I mean by it hasn't happened yet. All right. Um, so spend more time in meditation. Um more time in prayer too as well to give gratitude and uh, thanks for what you do have, all right? So that you're able to call in more, all right? During this time period, all right? Um, two of Swords, that's that blind um, decision that I was picking up on earlier, all right? So you need to receive enlightenment or some type of message or clarity. That's the word I'm looking for. Before you can make a decision because you don't want to make a blind, hasty decision. You or your person, all right? Um, timing is uh, really big right now um, and making choices that are going to actually um, better you and that are for your higher self and your higher purpose. All right. Not just like an instant pleasure or instant gratification. Leo, I'm hearing. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get a potential outcome uh, for you and your person right now. All right. One car for you, you, um, no, what was I asking? <laughs> One car for, um, your potential outcome, please. Ooh, 
nine of pentacles all right um good news so you're close to the ten of pentacles all right so whatever you're looking for in regards to community family partnerships business you are on the brink of greatness all right um so keep that in mind right now um and keep your eyes on the prize all right but the thing about it though nine of pentacles is usually a uh, solo energy all right um independent energy all right it's very peaceful very harmony which is what you were looking for in the two of cups okay i'll get it down so in order for you to get to this two of cups you have to um i want to say endure but that's not really the word i'm looking for but that's how you see it though leo all right you or your person see this solo energy and, and being more independent as like um hardship or uh triumph okay um you may not be taking it well or may not be interested in being the, being in this type of energy which is interesting because this is a very beautiful car like i said it represents peace harmony um solo fulfillment or fulfillment individually i should say all right um and we have, in order to get to the Ten of Pentacles, we have to go through this stage literally, literally, because this is number nine and we're trying to get to 10, all right? So this is something that you cannot avoid. You may have been trying to avoid this stage in the past, all right? But you're realizing with this card coming out um, as your first card in the reading, also for your energy, that in order for you to get to this, you have to do this first, all right? And that requires some self-work and also some healing, especially... Um, with the inner child, all right? And that's what I call that card intuitively, all right? It doesn't necessarily mean that, all right? Um, let's get a card for advice. One card for advice, please. One card for advice, all right? And I totally didn't even finish that um, thought. So um, the outcome is nine of pentacles, all right? So You may be spending a lot of time alone, all right? And that's the outcome, but it's not the forever outcome I'm hearing, all right? So once you get through this energy and become more independent, then you'll you'll um, call in that Two of Cups and that Ten of Pentacles energy, all right? But for right now or in the near future, or this could have already happened, all right? If you feel like that this is something that you've already been doing, then what the cards are saying is that you're going to be ending that cycle very soon, all right? Let's get one card for um, advice. One card for advice. We'll take that one. Queen of Swords. All right, so they're saying for you to protect your heart, all right, and make wise decisions right now. Um, not only you, but you and your person. At the bottom of the deck, they have uh, four of swords, all right? So definitely healing energy, all right? You could be like resting up more, um, healing from like whatever, like um, healing from a broken heart. But it, it doesn't have to be recently. It could have been like a lifetime. It could have been from a childhood. It could have been from uh, several different experiences. So this is like probably the longest time that you have been single um, or you have taken to like taking time out for yourself for self-care. That's what I'm looking for. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have 21, the world card. So this is definitely going to end the cycle for you. All right. This is completion coming in the near future. Um, Ace of Cups. All right. So um, this is going to be a brand new beginning in love. All right. You could be hearing from somebody as well, too, especially with the Six of Cups. Um, this could be somebody that you haven't uh, spoken to in a while, right? And we did just just in Mercury retrograde, um, so that could be um, we're still in the shadow energy for about two weeks after it ends. All right. Um, there's a need for you to take um, a leap of faith. All right. Um, and whatever decision you make or whatever leap of faith that you take is gonna um, lead you to um, celebrating or union with something or someone. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get a lover's oracle card. Give me one second. All right. Um, so the cards you got is Twin Flames. Your passion ignites. Beautiful. All right. And that's that's that um the merging of souls that I picked up on earlier. All right. Beautiful energy. Let's get a lesson card. One card, please. One card. 
All right, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. All right, so especially if this is like a twin flame union, um, especially with the inner child and um, a lot of the cards you picked up on the five of pentacles and knight of swords, knight of pentacles, Queen of Swords, like it's a lot of um, sore energy sometimes can be very heavy energy, all right? And I say that with love because I'm an air sign myself. Um, so you could have a lot of air in your chart. Um, and it could be a very difficult and challenging time right now. You could be um, stretching yourself beyond boundaries and limits that you ever thought that you had, all right? Um, but hang in there. You're going to pull through. Um, and this, you will see a return on your investment all right so you could be feeling like that this is not worthwhile but it is though and it's probably because of the adversity all right but accept that challenges are the best way to learn all right so for your positive affirmation my loves you have i am not my past i'm going to read it two more times to speak it into existence i am not my past and i am not my past ashe and so it shall be all right so say that my loves however many times you need to say it to speak it into existence um, that is all I have for you today, my love. So if it resonated with you, if you just simply enjoy, uh, please let me know in the comment section below or by liking this video, um, sharing, subscribing, or, um, there's so many different things. Just do all of them. All right. <laughs> um, so, um, I would love if you guys did that. All right. And most importantly, my loves, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you're cherished until next time. My loves. Bye-bye.